Nancy Pelosi is being accused of putting Taiwan in harm's way. But what is the United States doing and what will America do? What does strategic ambiguity actually mean? And will the United States come to Taiwan's defense? And would that be only with regards to supplying weapons and intelligence or also putting boots on the ground? USSR Ronald Reagan, a Nimitz-class super aircraft carrier, is in South China Sea. A routine patrol, they say, to ensure sea lanes of communication remain open, or is it actually a signal to China? USS Ronald Reagan, Nimitz class aircraft carrier, somewhere east of Taiwan in the South China Sea. Amongst the world's largest supercarriers, the USS Ronald Reagan is quietly carrying out a patrol to ensure free and open Indo-Pacific in the South China Sea. As China begins four days of live fire exercises, after having surrounded Taiwan from six sides, including firing ballistic missiles, the US carrier battle group is watching from a distance as it carries out a patrol in the Philippine Sea. Every move of the Chinese Navy and Air Force, including the crossing of the median by Chinese Air Force fighters before they returned, and the Chinese ships and submarines are being monitored very closely, both by Taiwan and the United States. USS Ronald Reagan has conducted flight operations in the Philippine Sea. The carrier battle group is the only forward deployed battle group carrying out a regular scheduled patrol. As part of the patrol, the anti-ship and anti-submarine warfare exercises are being conducted by MH-60R Seahawk multi-role naval helicopters in the South China Sea. Amphibious assault ship Tripoli is also a part of the US Navy's 7th Fleet that is operating along with guided missile cruiser USS Chancellor Will. These warships have been sailing through the South China Sea in the past 24 hours. To show complete sea control and dominance, ensuring free and open Indo-Pacific, fueling at sea operations are also being undertaken. Simultaneously, US Army paratroopers are conducting combined active operations in Indonesia called Exercise Super Garur Strikes. The US Navy Pacific Fleet incidentally is the world's largest fleet. USS Abraham Lincoln, the second aircraft carrier part of the Pacific Fleet, is sailing in formation as part of RIMPAC 2022 exercises where 26 nations are participating with 38 ships and 170 aircraft in a massive show of joint operations and to test interoperability. China and its actions around Taiwan are being watched closely by navies across the democratic world. Bureau Report, India Today.